and try to help them. So um, I think I'm someone natural and generous. That's it. I wish you a good evening. That wasn't you. We like to keep our contestants on their toes. In the meantime, you seem to have so much support here, Miss Philippines. What does that feel like? I've got half of my country here, actually. <laughs> Do you know what? I agree with you. I think we have got half of the Philippines here. And on stage as well. Mabuhai! Hi! Okay. I think we've found you. Let's have a go again. My main reason for being here today is to represent my country, to show the world that the Filipinos are hardworking. Hey, we, we can do this no matter what happens, no matter what um, crisis we go through, we're willing to help other people. It would be an honor to be a part of the Miss Wood organization. And I'm sure that the Filipinos will be right behind me. They'll be in the journey to Miss World as well. My mom has really been a big influence to me. Ever since she moved to the States, I have been taking care of my brother and my sister on my own. I just want to really make her proud and show her that even if she's not there, even if my dad isn't there, that, <laughs> that I can take care of them. I miss them a lot. <laughs> Philippines, you're gonna make my mascara run. What's going on? It's your turn. Tell the judges why you should be Miss World. Salamat Madam Indonesia. And Miss World for me treasures the core values of humanity and that guides her into understanding people, why they act the way that they do, how they live in their lives, and I will use these core values and my understanding not only in helping others, but to show other people how they can understand others, to help others, so that as one, together, we shall help society. Thank you. Philippines. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. Next, I give you Ghana. Hello, Miss Ghana. Give her a round of applause. Looking pretty fabulous. Are you well? Let's see what you've been up to, shall we? The Miss World organization embodies beauty with a purpose, and that is something that I want to identify with. I told my dad I wanted to do pageantry. He said, you want to leave medical school and do that? And I said, oh, it's, it's, it's a good avenue for me. And because of the things I want to do, I think it will also be good because I'll be reaching out to a lot of people. He said, okay, this is what you want to do, just go ahead and do it. I feel like I've reached a point in my life where I want to help people. I don't mind taking time off school to do that. So, If I were to win Miss World, my first reaction, I don't know what. Do. Maybe I'll scream, maybe I'll jump, maybe I'll do something crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Ghana. And get a smile you've got there as well. I'll give you the judges. Good evening, Indonesia.
Hand up for Miss Brazil. Miss Brazil, I give you the judges. We also have a translator here for you. Thank you. So I'm with Malam. Eu vejo Miss World como uma referência mundial de valores. E o Beleza com Propósito mostra que o concurso não busca apenas beleza exterior, mas busca também uma pessoa sensível, de caráter e disposta a trabalhar para ajudar as pessoas que necessitam. Esse é o verdadeiro papel de uma Miss. So she sees Miss World as a reflection of the values that the world should have. She likes the fact that it does not only focus on the exterior beauty, but also shows a sensitive person that is willing to work and help all the people that need. Eu sinto... Sorry. <laughs> Only one more. Eu sinto que estou preparada e disposta a exercer esse trabalho. Eu sei que como Miss Ward, eu posso fazer a diferença na vida de muitas pessoas. Beauty often does, but beauty with purpose of his minds and hands. Thank you. She feels that um, beauty will be the purpose. With the Miss World, that she's able to help many people. Um, and she thinks that she is has the strength to uh, help many people through Miss World. And she believes that if everybody does their part, we can make this a better world. And as she said, Beauty opens doors, but beauty with a purpose opens minds and hearts. Obrigada, Brazil! Thank you! Miss Spain, come and have a chat with me. King Lovely. Okay, so before we have that chat, let's see how your journey in Miss World has gone. Now that I'm in the final, um, for me it's incredible. I'm happy because I have uh, achieved to show people that I have energy to do it. Um, Spain never has win a Miss World competition, so I will be the first in winning this competition, so it would be incredible. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Miss Spain, is that moment that you've been waiting for? Good evening. Well, I would like to say that um, to those people who really need help, I would like to say that with effort and with illusion, all in this life can achieve because they must fight for their dreams because I have do it and it is possible. So I will give to those people who really need help all my energies, all my passion to make their life a little bit more easier and more happier. That's it, thank you. <laughs> Wonderful answer, thank you. Thank you, Spain. And finally, up you come, Gibraltar. <laughs> Cheering you on there. Great team that you have. Uh, this has been a, quite a crazy journey for you because you probably got quite a big shock tonight, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> so, did you think that this could ever happen or were you feeling quite sad, quite despondent backstage? Well, I wasn't disappointed. I mean, there are many other girls who were in the same position and I as well went to get changed for my traditional costume and they pulled me aside and I was given the news and I'm, I'm extremely ecstatic and I just want to thank everybody that voted for me. Thank you very much. The girl, a lot of people did vote for you, so congratulations. You are the people's choice. It's wonderful to you here and I'm glad whoever it was that grabbed you as you were running out the door changing managed to get you back here on that stage so you get yourself together let's have a look at your journey here at Miss World. I'm 22 years old and I currently work in elderly care. My belief of um, the Miss World crown is it's not about having nice hair and having nice makeup or having nice clothes it's more about getting on, down on your hands and knees and and really giving back to, to the world because you are blessed that you have 
a great life yourself. My biggest influence in my life so far has to be my parents. They taught me just to be respectful and to be kind and to be humble, which is why I am the way I am. So I'm extremely, extremely grateful for that. Well done, Gibraltar. So, well, you are the people's choice. What do you have to say to our judges to convince them that you should be their choice as well? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I believe I should be the next Miss World because I want to be Miss World for all the right reasons. The re reasons being that I want genuinely to help people in need. I don't want to be Miss World so I can get my hair done or feel glamorous because those things aren't what help the disadvantaged. Those things aren't the things that change people's lives. Stuff like beauty from within and kindness are the things that change people's lives. And I truly believe that kindness is the language that the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Thank you. Well done, Gibraltar, and I think she proved clearly why she is the people's choice. And of course, thank you, ladies. You can all just breathe again now. I know that was absolutely petrifying. Right, it's time now to leave.